Who you draw one? Okay. Don't look at it. Okay. I'll tell you when. <laughs> what was your name? I'm Nicole. Nicole. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Nicole. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Dee. Nice to meet you, Dee. You're, you're gonna love or hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you get, you're gonna cut. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> okay, so you can now look at your number. So it's just for the fun and dramatic, she uses the clipper if you draw. Alright, four. Ah, oh, well you don't get to shave your head then. Damn it. <laughs> um, do like chin like, like, like a bob, and then redo the undercut that she's got. What was this? Oh, it was, I have um, an undercut under my head. Too. Your color, sorry. Oh, it was bright orange, mm -hmm. and then I uh, I stopped dyeing it and just started uh, fading it out with um, like vitamin C treatments because I didn't want to use color remover and damage it. Yeah. So I've just been kind of letting it uh letting it go and i was either going to bring it back to the natural color or blonde again but probably just my natural color for now i always wonder why people say they want to go back to their natural because do you really want to go back to your well i mean i haven't had it since i was in like literally like sixth grade so it's been a really long time but um i really like my hair bleach but it's a lot of maintenance in it since i have really thin hair it damages it a lot and um yeah and it gets like straw so like if i have really short hair like i used to have a pixie and i loved it and i had it for like four or five years then a fox hawk and uh um, so basically um i bleached it then but that's because i kept cutting it short so, so it didn't short. matter yeah once it's short you can torture it because yeah, because you're just going to cut it, it off all the time. Yeah, exactly. So I might bleach it again after I cut it. We'll see. But, um... I think the bleach long thing yeah. too. Mm -hmm. so I love it. I'll have to show you my ID. I just showed him I have, um... I had a blonde pixie in the picture. So it's been growing out for about, uh, two years. And then, um... I really like the orange hair, I but... It was so beautiful, very pretty. I had it my whole uh, nine month pregnancy, but yeah, nine months later, had it for a long time looking for a, a better job, so. You really good to Yeah, my other job didn't really care, and I got paid 15 an hour, so it was all right, but um, I uh, I left when I was on maternity leave, so it's been three months, so I'm gonna go back to the workforce, but I want something, uh, something new, something part time, yeah. with tips, preferably. <laughs> So I can work part time and still get pretty good money. Right. Like, are you looking, what kind of industry are you looking at? Um, I've always been in the food industry, so I was thinking just like a server or like room service or something that I'll get a uh, good tips. I know someone that does room service at, um, I think it's called the M. And they get like 2500 3000 a month part time just from all the tips. It's crazy. That yeah, was like what were us people make think. Heck yeah, because it's Vegas, so. Are you ready for number two? Alright. I am. Woo! <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> this part is the best part. Yeah. I call this Russian roulette. <laughs> Hair <laughs> roulette. Yeah, well, that's fine, because it grows really fast too, but I just, uh. Yeah, I'd probably even be willing to if it was like Tuesday or something. A job can't fire me if they're already hiring me, but whether people admit it or not, jobs do, um, they do care a lot about a few things. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Where is it? Where are you at? That, um, Station Casino, so that Palace Station, but it might be for Red Rock Casino. But they do the interviews at. It's always, but they're doing the interview at Palace Station. So, it's just um, like Vance Palace Station. It's actually pretty nice in there. What was that? They just revamped Palace Station, so it's all nice and new in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I think, I think I actually done it once since they redid it, and it used to be, like, kind of... It was just old. Yeah, that went old, yeah, and then now it looks, um... That's nice. looks very nice. They have, like, a new movie theater. They moved the buffet to a completely different spot. The sports car is all new in the city. Mm-hmm. I have a comment that works in there. It looks like a completely different place. Did they close it down when we did that? No. <laughs> oh, they closed, like... Bits and pieces of it? Yeah. 
but um, no, it was definitely still open while they were under construction. Nice. Yeah, they're doing. Don't I heard they're doing the same to the palms, but I don't really know. Yeah, that whole true. thing has been under construction for a second. Oh, it's still under construction. Right I don't now. know if it's. I don't go anywhere, so and my boyfriend just mentioned that, and I was like, "What? Oh, I didn't even know they did the palms." Yeah, they did. They got a facelift too. Oh, I like the green under here. I, just I actually bought green hair dye and I was going to do that, but then um, since I am um, going to a different job, I, uh, that's why I decided to, to wait on it. Maybe I'll do it eventually. I love green. It's my favorite color. Me too. I like orange and green. That's so funny. Said you had orange. It's like, it's so funny that you say that because those are my two favorite colors. Too. Orange and green. I used to have orange and green hair back in the day when I was like 15 to 17. Okay. Yeah, and I had like a orange on the top and like green underneath my bangs and uh, on the bottom. It was really pretty. Yeah, I've had orange, pink, and yellow, but I've never had orange with green. They're not really uh, colors of fair world to get you. Yeah, I wouldn't think, but it actually looks really cool. I, I believe you. They don't like um, blend with one another, of course, but um, the way I sectioned it was really nice. Probably it was far enough away. Mm -hmm. My hair underneath probably looks weird, but I had it black underneath too. It was like orange on the top and black underneath. It was like a freaking pussy. Yeah, see, those are two <laughs> colors I would never do together. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Because of that. And then I let it, uh, the bottom, it's like, even though I used demi, I think it was semi permanent or demi permanent, I can't remember for the black. And like, I didn't dye it for literally like a year and it stayed black. I don't even know why. Because black is black. I used, well, I used to have it before and it like would fade to like a muddy brown like really easily but that was back when um, my hair was still like virgin hair so like if, I don't know it doesn't take uh, it wouldn't take dye that well for some reason so I didn't think it was going to last that long but it did you wanted to stay with me. Mm -hmm. Freeway. I was deeper in Centennial, which is um, Arbor View by like oh, Franco 95. See, none of those high school things when I was in high school oh, yeah, didn't exist. No, no, it was new when I forgot. 
it had only been there for years when I uh, what started in high school. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I was in actually like middle school or something when they built it. Yeah, with the Count Walter. And they actually, I went to Bill Bray, which is like a school literally out by the desert towards like freaking Mount Charleston. And they built a second one called Schirkenbach connected to that school. And I ended up going there a couple of years after I went to Bill Bray, just because it was literally right there. And it's crazy. I was there when they built everything in Centennial. Now they're expanding even more. I know. Every store, restaurants. Mm -hmm. There used to be coyotes, rabbits, lizards, everything in my freaking front yard. When I first moved there, it was all dead for like wildlife everywhere. But then they, um, yeah, they freaking just uh, went ahead and, um, <laughs> they uh, built over everything and everything well, yeah, like just, died, which is kind of sad. They have nowhere to go. Nope. <laughs> it was sad. No, like, seriously, they'd be like dead guys and like everything. There used to be like a ton of butterflies and stuff. It was really nice for a while. They ruined nature. Mm -hmm. Build everything over it. There was like barely any natural. The only place that there's... Yeah, I wonder why. The only place that there's like natural habitats is like in Africa and freaking like Antarctica, places that we really can't live because it's too hot or too cold. You know what I mean? It's like the only reason we don't ruin it. Yeah, that's the only reason we don't ruin it is because the climate isn't like preferable for us. So if we could, we would. <laughs> if it was good weather, we'd totally do it. It's fucked up, huh? Yeah, it's sad. The way we just think we own everything. Mm -hmm. How do you own the world? We think we do. We can buy a land and all this stuff. Humans are going to be the destruction of this planet. <laughs> or the world just, we're going to get wiped out and the world is going to rebuild itself. I see. Yeah, seriously. Well, I think I think it can. Uh, nature always finds a way. I think it'll find a way to have over time. You know, go back to normal. Or, as long as we're gone for a while, for like a million years. <laughs> as we go butt in. All the, no other animals begin to do that. They don't build the fucking pollution and like cars and all the crazy shit. We are the reason why shit is the shit. <laughs> yeah. And the air is freaking clouded up and everything. And we freaking reproduce like crazy. It's like freaking billions and billions of us. Mm -hmm. I can't talk about the baby myself, but I'm definitely going to teach her to not litter and uh, yeah, conserve and reduce. Three months. She's oh. really tiny. Yeah. That's why um, I've always um, made, like, ever since I was uh, 20, I've always made uh, like 35000 a year or more. It's not bad for being my age and not having a degree yet. Um, so I've always kind of been like the breadwinner. So, um, uh, you know, so unfortunately, my uh, my boyfriend, he, uh, he doesn't have that good of a record, even though he does the right thing now. Right, but it's really it doesn't hard matter. It jobs. ruined him. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard for him to get jobs. So like right now, he's only making like minimum wage, and he has another job that's twelve seventy five an hour, but they only give him two days. He's like uh, nothing, you know. So it's not. Yeah, so that's why it's like really. I gotta find like a job. I get a lot of tips if I don't want to be working for again. I worked uh, 50 minimum, and I worked a bit, like 80, 90 hours a week uh, salary. When do you sleep? I didn't, man. So like with a baby, I was like, I can't go back there. No, no, I'm not gonna be able to freaking make take care of her and go to school and do all that. It was way too much, man. It was exhausting just doing that, let alone right. doing online school and taking care of a baby. So that's why. Um, trying to get a good job with tips. And this is like the job that like, I went to like three interviews, but this is the one I wanted the most. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna freaking rock that shit tomorrow. Like I rocked the first one. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're gonna call me. They said that they get hundreds of interviews a day at their 20 locations. So they throw it in a job bank after the first interview. And that once it's in the job bank, that they, um, 
he'll go ahead and uh, maybe give you a call. It could be tomorrow, a week from now, or never, blah, blah, blah. Right. So I was really, like, it's not, I need some Yeah, so I was like, I don't, I'm not going to rely on that. I'm going to apply for other stuff. And then literally two days later, and yesterday on Saturday, they were just like, call me, oh, it's your second interview. And they pretty much said, as long as you do get a second interview, if you even get a second interview, you most likely got it. So I know that um, if I rock that shit tomorrow, I'm going to get that job, and I'll be excited. I'm like, Oh yeah, it's super hard. And because he has like three felons, three. So it's like for in it's theft, so it's like impossible. Right. Like, fuck. Because nobody trusts. No, and then like you know you can't get a job. You work for cash or even with customers or anything. Because they're super, um, super anal about it. Despite if it was four years ago and you've got your shit together, they don't fucking care. Like I don't care if you have a kid in the wrong place. And that's why working. they should have programs and job yeah. situations. So my brother was a professional criminal. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when he did get sobered up and, you know, right. And that's usually what it is to for him to get a job. So he just always went back to doing the same sort yeah. of shit he was doing because guess what? They make it so hard. He didn't have yeah. There was no means for him to not be a criminal. Yeah, when they get out of prison, they always go back. There's like nothing else they can do. They go right back. that's what it is uh, people are doing uh, like drugs or something so I feel like if they are you know clean or sober and they can like prove that it's right. like you know they should give them some kind of opportunity right. yeah. I can understand if they have rules like oh you gotta be drug tested or you know whatever and it has to well, be most maybe most jobs do drug tests so yeah. that's the problem yeah exactly if you're gonna test me and I'm gonna oh. pass then and why does it matter right exactly do a freaking hair right. test or a freaking you know, or monitor it or whatever, if you're that worried that they're gonna fake it, because you can't fake a freaking a hair test, or if they're well, watching. Well, you can, but it's not. Really I don't know, they have one. shampoos, but I heard that that should, I mean, it's like 50-50 that it even works. I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't trust it either. I heard that it doesn't even work. I've been hair tested before, and just for my job required it, and they like literally get a piece of your hair, like oh, they deep on your scalp. <laughs> yeah, they got mine, they got deep out of my scalp, like, underneath my hair, like, I freaking was kind of pissed off because they just, like, cut a big ass and chunk out of my hair. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I've like, multiple chunks. Bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> this is so <laughs> But you know, I was well. It depended if I'm gonna keep my hair short or not. So once I make that decision, then I'll. Die. No, I like a, I like a short haircut. I just don't know. How I feel about that. I feel like my boyfriend would think I'm so bad. He would hate it. I'll block her on my phone, ignore her, and her house shows up at my fucking house. I don't answer the door. 
that my boyfriend gets mad, like, shut up. We've seen that bitch fucking driving around the parking lot of his work. And then she tries to say that she wasn't. I know what car you drive. I know what you look like. I know your life is play. Don't play. She's a, she's a crazy person. Like, me, my dad knows I was getting my hair cut short because he actually liked my hair as a pixie. But um, <laughs> we agreed not to tell my mom until afterwards because we knew she would, like, make a big Freak ordeal out. about it. Yeah. That's just how she is. I remember one time she uh, burned her hair off. I can't remember how the fuck it happened, but she seriously burned her hair off, and she <laughs> her hair was super short. And she made like a, but it was bad because it was like you know blotchy and stuff, and uh, <laughs> she had to wear like a wig, and, like hair extension for years, and her net hair like never grew back. That's sad. I know. I think it's just because she has really, you know, she had really damaged uh, she hair. It. Yeah, and she killed it. So. Uh, Mm -hmm. I told my boyfriend that too. I'm like, hey, if hair grows back, he's like, some people's hair never grow back. I'm like, how is that gonna happen? <laughs> they never grow back. Yeah, unless your freaking hair is dead as hell, it's not gonna happen. My hair is actually not that bad. No, it has some little angry spots. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that now. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it was like red underneath it, wherever that last person that like shaved underneath it was. What the heck? My boyfriend was like, you can go get your bleach if you want to. <laughs> he liked it. It was blonde. Blondes are fun. Mm -hmm. See, right. so scary. Are we done? No, no, one sec, right. give it one second. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah, have to get a picture. I thought you guys were gonna have some like big like uh yeah, be really big back. these cameras, yeah. Too. Yeah, you guys are cool. I like you guys. That's a right. talk to you guys out there. You are free to go. I'm fine. Thank you. Good luck. Sorry about all that you guys.